I walk out the door and look around because I think it's time I go out and do something instead of hang out with fucking strange people. God damn it. Got in the cold night air. Not really knowing what to do with yourself. You begin to walk down the road and recognize the road you recognize as your way out of town. I follow that road. You walk down the road trying to remember what town you came out of. The moon's not out yet, but the street's lights are on. Enough that you can see your way without looking directly at them. I walk into the nearby, I don't know, forest? and listen for for something to hunt. Hunting always makes me feel better. You walk into the woods with your hands in your pockets and listen to the sounds of wilderness. Suddenly you stop and look up the treetops. Fuck! What is it? <clears throat> I mean, the, the demon did say if I look up, I'll find something. You say out loud as you realize you're, you walked into, the wo into a wooded area. You began walking back the way you came when you stopped a moment because you thought you heard something. I stop and listen carefully. Let's see, let's see. Maybe maybe something like will happen that makes sense. You stop, close your eyes and listen. It's been so long since you've heard a sound other than your own that you hear nothing. This moment of stillness is broken by a branch being snapped. W what are you doing here? Quickly turn around to see what snapped the branch. Your eyes snap open when you hear the branch break. Your heart's racing. You turn around to pick up a large rock. I thought I was hunting. I guess I'm not hunting. I'm just walking in the woods with my hands in my pocket. <clears throat> Look around for the creature that made the sound. You spot what looks like a large feral cat. It's lying down and looking back at you. A, a cat? I look closely at the cat to see if it is a danger to my life. Right, the cat looks back at you. Though it has a look of curiosity on its face. It doesn't move and doesn't seem to pose a threat. C come here. You must be scared. I pet the kitty. <laughs> <laughs> you walk over the feline and put your hands out. The cat sticks its nose up in the air and walks until its nose is touching your hand. A, a kitty. I pet the kitty. Many times. The cat nuzzles and your body and closes its eyes. You're not sure if it's dead or sleeping. That this is the happiest I've seen a kitty in a long time. Well, if it's dead, it's not happy. But I'm sure it's sleeping. I'm just gonna. I name the kitty. Meow tastic and make it my pet. You name the cat. At the very least, it's much better than Felicity. The cat begins following you around wherever you're in public. Also, purrs wherever you pet, pet it, of course. I feed the kitty lots of good food. No, fish. Fish and look for a new place to live far, far from Carla. I don't like Carla. She's fucking weird. Find a home that looks pretty good. Since I have 50 gold. Ring the bell, no old man ranchers. You. you, I'm looking for a single room for, to rent. Does this house have any vacancies? Ooh. I like I like where this is going. 
The old man walks inside and begins looking around for something. I'm s old man. Sorry, but we don't allow pets and strict no. Well, I'll look at the old man. Well, you will let this pet in, and I don't smoke. This cat's going with me wherever I go, you dumb bitch. Well, I might have room if you're willing to pay half price. What? I look at the man and smile. I have 50 gold. I will give you 25 gold for the room. That's half price, right? Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I'm stupid or the man is stupid. The old man seems to think about it for a moment. He smiles and ushers you in. Old man. Don't worry, I'll allow half vampires or th I don't allow half vampires or thievery inside my home. You go upstairs and take the fourth door on the right. Think you thank the man and head upstairs. I bring my kitty with me. The cat goes wherever I do. Yes. You walk into the room you're supposed to be staying in. It's a pretty average place for a vampire. I'm not a vampire. I am what in the fuck game? What is this? What is it with vamp? I'm not a vampire! You hear a bunch of weird noises coming from the closet. What is that? <laughs> I am not a vampire. So it is an average place for a human. Just gonna make that story. You hear a bunch of weird noises come from the closet. You approach it slowly. Hey, don't eat that. I don't want to make the... I want to make sure this works before I eat you. What? I sick my cat on whatever it is I'm hearing. You hear a bunch of meowing come from the closet. You walk over to it. And there's a box with a note attached to it. Human. Oh, don't freak out. I'm Skill Breaker, and I'm here to help. The noises stop for a moment. Then you hear a bunch of noises coming from the closet. Wow, you took the bait? I'm impressed. I'll take this as a yes, then. As promised, I'm here... As promised, here are the directions to your vaccine. As you open the box, you hear a bunch of hissing squealing, and squealing noises. Human! What? What? Don't you dare drop those! You drop the box, and a bunch of little red furry things come out. It seems your cat have sa has saved you again. As promised, here they are. You open the note and find that there's a bunch of Q-tips in the box. You... I don't know how you did it, but good job. I'm so confused. I am so confused. I just go to the bedroom and sit there and think to myself about life events and why I do anything because it all just turns into a crazy shit show. You am so confused. You have a nice nap, and when you wake up, you find that Carla's- JESUS covered your legs with mosquito bites to make sure you don't get any blood-sucking disease- What? Carla, what the fuck? I'm trying to get away from you! You can't- I- uh... Carla, I moved to get away from you. Why are you still here? Also, why the fuck did you cover me in- me in bites no stop so quickly Carla I thought you would have learned your lesson by now what lesson like you said you were a ghost then you were a god then you're fucking 
I did learn my lesson. I learned my lesson when you tried to set me on fire and I was forced to kill you. You're still not getting it. What? I'm gonna. T I'm Meowtastic is gonna kill that bitch. What the hell am I supposed to do? Throw myself at your feet and worship you as a god? Well, I suppose you'll do. What? I order Meowtastic to murder Carla. Please fucking do it. You order to Carla. You are a blood-sucking parasite that leeches off the life of others. Drop to your knees and beg your forgiveness as your last act. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm liking where this is going. Do I finally get to kill this bitch? Do you really think you're in a position to give orders? You're literally a slave. I'm not a slave. I'm a liber liberator and a revolutionary. Oh, oh, man. I've gone through so many different things. I don't even know what I am anymore. I grab the cat and stab Carla. Car Carca? Carla with the cat in the heart, killing the bitch once and for all. You're the cat. And she's dead. What? Yes! Yes! Carla's been like the problem this whole time. Why has this happened? Grab a gun and shoot yourself in the head. What in the mighty fuck is going on? You die instantly and then feel your soul dissipating into nothingness. Okay, well let's fucking let's let it end at that because Jesus Christ. Suddenly your quest for eternal life is cut short. I didn't know I, I didn't know I was I I wanted a I I wanted an adventure. That's all I wanted. I just wanted a fucking adventure. You would have made a fine addition to our community. What? Thank you for your interest in being part of the future. You may now exit the exper this experience. You have died. No, really, you're dead. The end. Okay, well, that is the uh, story of how I stab, how my character stabbed a woman with me out with a cat named Meowtastic. Just trying to get the whole time, just trying to get away from her, and all these other named characters came into play, and I have no idea what the fuck happened. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want more, let us know. Uh, fuck. Alright, guys. Stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.